of glory. Your majesty, Father, we say thank you. Yet another day in your presence, Father. We thank you, Hola, for the month of January. We thank you for February, March, April, May, and June. Lord Almighty, we give you all the glory for July, August, and September. October, November. Here we are here the last day in the month of December. The last day in the year 2021. We are here with our mind. We are here that we go. We are not his sin, Father. We are not in the hospital bed, oh Lord. COVID did not COVID our family. COVID did not swallow up in death, Father. We bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you, King of Glory. Almighty Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We commit people that are still watching, oh Lord. We commit people at our at home, Father, into your holy name. We commit people that sit driving, Father, the God Almighty. You will quicken their steps in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we commit tonight's service to your holy hand. Almighty Father, our bless you will not be here in the way, oh Lord. Father, you will come, oh Lord, in your power. You will come, oh Lord, in your majesty. Father, you will show yourself mightily tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, I commit every aspect, oh Lord. I commit every side of oh Lord, even unto your holy name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Only you alone, Father, you will perform that what you know how to do best tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we know that every chain shall be broken. Father, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there shall be deliverance tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we know you will open doors of opportunity to us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, there shall be no carryover. Even unto the new year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything, oh Lord, Father, we come to you tonight, oh Lord. We've come here with our petition, Father. Tonight shall be a, shall be a new beginning in our lives, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, everything that is not supposed to go with us, oh Lord. Even to the new year, Father. Let them drop off, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank everlasting Father. Because you will have your will tonight. Almighty Father, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We cannot do this by ourselves tonight. Holy Spirit, come and be the chairman tonight. Holy Spirit, come and be the president of tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today's service, oh Lord, it shall be a glorious one, oh Lord. We shall not have a barren service, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to everyone, oh Lord. Those that see her home, Father. Those that see contemplating, Father. King of glory, give them a reason to come to the service. Some people are home drinking. Some people are home fighting. Some people are home smoking. Some want to smoke themselves into to the new year. My Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are here as a family to go inside to the, the new year with peace of mind, with joy, with overflowing grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for asking, Father, because we know that you will visit everyone tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We bless and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Sing it one more time. Abba, Father. Abba.
our hands together one more time as we welcome the choir. We're going to have to shake it off. I know it's cold. So let's get up and shake it off. If you don't know the song, just move your body a little bit. Hallelujah. We are the chosen generation called for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. I am my chosen generation, chosen God for to show me excellence. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know, I know who I am. We are the chosen generation. Call we come for to show this excellence. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. God He says I am. There He says I am. I know who I, I, I am. I know. Look at me and my wonder. Doesn't matter what you see now, but I see His glory. Cause I know who I am. So you can look at me and my wonder. Doesn't matter what you see now, but I see His glory. For I know who I am. Take a look at me and my wonder. Doesn't matter what you see now, but I see His glory. Cause I know who I am. Everybody shout, oh, 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 I know, I know who I am. Everybody say, oh, 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 I know, I know who I am. I am holy. I
no wonder Doesn't That's matter what you see now What you see is glory For I know who I am Take a look at me, I wonder Doesn't matter what you see now What you see is glory I know who I am Take a look at me, I wonder Doesn't matter what you see now What you see is glory I know who I am, take a look at me, I'm a wonder Doesn't matter what you see now, what you see is for I know who I am, I'm walking in power I'm walking miracles, I live a life of favor I know, I'm walking in power Uh... 
There is no compare to his majesty. He is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. The omnipotent, the I am that I am. If God should close his eyes for one second, we are dead. The Bible says he watches over us. The one that watches over Israel never sleep nor slumber. If God should slumber for one second, the whole world is in trouble. Father, we thank you because you are a great God. We thank you because when you say a thing, you bring it to pass. We thank you because you are not a man that should lie, not a son of man that should repent of his of his word Father we thank you because you are a great father you, have, you kept our family in, intact there's some people that will have common headache before the next day they are dead the little headache did not kill you some people even some just running nose is another thing for them. The same, the same water you drink without anything. Some people will drink that same water, they will fall sick. The air that you are breathing here is not because you are so perfect. It's not because you are so beautiful. It's not because some people will breathe the same here. here. They say it's allergic reaction. They will head up in the hospital. Some they will find them dead in their rooms without not knowing what happened to them. You keep wondering, that so 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 died. Why? It's not because of your righteousness. 
is because he loves you. The Bible says, I will have mercy to those that will have mercy on So because, because of the mercy of God, that is why you and I are here tonight, the last day in the year 2021. I was sharing with a lady. I said, what happened to 2020? What are we... What happened? What, what happened to, 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 to 2020? We just barely said, as if the 2021 swallowed 2020 completely. But God kept you. He kept you. He kept me. I remember the one day when I was in New York back in the days. About maybe 17 years ago, 18 years ago, in front of my apartment, 245 North Orthon Street. As I was coming down, was on my way going to the grocery store. And there was two young men right in front of me who were about to enter. They were just came off the elevator. And when you came up, came down from that elevator, you have to go to your right and enter another one before you could go on the street. So while we are waiting for the other elevator to come, before my eyes, the next thing was pam, 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 pam. it was a gunshot. Three people right in front of me got shot. Right in front of me. And I could hear God telling me, it could have been you. It could have been me. My parents were not there. My brother was not home. What exactly was I doing that at that point, at that place? I was going to go get something to drink. There's no way they would be able to locate me and realize I was there. I could have been dead. Brethren, for you not being at the wrong place at the wrong time, it's not because you are, it's not because you are perfect. It's not because you know how to make moves. It's not because you know where to go. It's because of his mercy and his grace. Couples of years ago, there was a lady who went to nursing school together. It was, yeah, Taiwan should be five years now. It was New Year Eve. He decided to spend time with his girlfriend, so he left his mom's house. They went to his girlfriend's house, stayed there, and somebody knocked at the door. Go, 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 go. It was 7 p.m. It was not even, it was not, it was during daylight. It was 7 p.m. You can imagine what, what could happen 7 p.m. Could be a pizza guy that wants to make a delivery. Could be Panda Express. Could be, could be anybody. Hey, babe, did you hold up Panda Express? Yes, I did earlier. Oh, maybe that's the guy at the door. Open the door. Pa, 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 pa. Cute right there. Where was he? Can you tell me he's, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time? Could it be you? Could it be me? So every opportunity that you have to give thanks to God, please don't hesitate. Some of us, we've taken this grace of God for granted in our lives. And we wonder why things are not working for me. Why? Because the little opportunity they gave you, you, didn't, you, you don't even cherish it for them. You, are not, you don't even take care of it. The tiny egg that he has given you, instead of for you to appreciate him, now you are worried about the chicken that was not on the... The, the go, go what happened? It's only eggs. Come on. I 
but you appreciate that egg. Maybe one day that egg will hash and be able to give you the chicken that you actually wanted. And every time, let's give thanks to God. The reason why I'm telling you all this, it says, the songwriter says, count your blessings, name them one by one. It will surprise you how far God has been with you. If you look back, well, I wanted to have my whole house 2021. I tried it 2020. It didn't work out 2021. I worked really hard for my credit to get up there, but still didn't get it. You were just there complaining, complaining, forgetting that those people, that there's some people that still don't even know what to do with them where they are living. You are worrying about my car is not working, my this is not working. There's some people they can't even get a driver's license. So you are worrying about, well, I, I, I've been so pretty, I've been praying to God, I don't have a husband, I don't have a wife, and why, why don't you thank God that you are even a candidate for somebody to even tell you, you look beautiful. Some people are crippled. And there was a lady who came to the shop one day, I didn't even know she was blind. She looked, she dressed gorgeously, beautiful, with a beautiful one dark shade and she was just I didn't know that her daughter had left her by the door for a purpose I had no clue she was just looking beautiful <coughs> and she stood there and I was wondering I greeted her hi are you okay? she said yes I'm fine with smile enough I mean there's no way I could never ever thought there was none of none of this that this woman was blind. It didn't even cross my mind. With, with very with excitement, I greeted her. She said, Hi, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. You look beautiful. She said, Thank you. I'm trying my best. I said, Me too. I'm trying my best too. And she goes, And I said, if you need help, let me know. She said, Okay. And she stood there. Two minutes. She didn't move. Five minutes, she did not move. Ah, and I'm thinking. And I went back to her and I say, Hey, are you okay? She said, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just okay. I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm, 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 I'm fine. And I say, Okay, if you need help, let me know. She said, Okay, no problem. She asked me again, How are you? I said, I'm doing really good. She said, Okay. She stood there and I left. And I look at my time. It's been seven minutes. Almost now it's been ten minutes. She's just there. And I'm thinking, is she okay? And I went back to her. She said, she said, I know you're worried about me, but I'm fine. And she asked me, are you okay? And I said, yes, I'm fine. She said, you know what though? I just thank God I'm able to stand right here and listening to the music that's being played. Wow. And tears almost come out of my cheek. At this point, I still didn't know that she was blind. The reason why I'm sharing this with you is to take every moment valuable. She said... It's been a while that I, 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 such music, I, I just, I just, I'm just glued to it. Is it okay? Are you bothered by me standing here? I said, no. I said, okay, if you need a chair, I could give you a chair, something to sit on. I said, do you want a water? She said, oh, that, that, that might not be a bad idea. So I, I, I offered her a chair. So when I said, I, I, I said, ma'am, instead of you standing by the door, can you move forward? And she looked at me. She said, can I just stay here? And I said, it might be better for you to move forward a little so you can sit down and, you know, take it, maybe water. And, uh, at this point, I still did not know that she was blind. 
She said, can you help me? And I said, of course. So I had her hand. And as we were walking, she said, by the way, I'm blind. Wow. And I just, and I sat down there and somebody was wondering about something that don't make no sense. The only thing that was, that made sense to her at that point is to hear the word of God. The music that was, that was being played, it was Tasha Cobbs, was something that was very, and I'm wondering, how did you get here? You've been, we've been, I've been, I've been communicating, we've been, we've been having this thing going on now, it's been over 20 minutes. Who brought you here? She said, it's okay. God wanted me to be here. The person that dropped me here, she said she would be right there. That was two minutes ago. She said, don't worry, stand right there for two minutes. It's been 20 something minutes. She left her and she walked away. Take every opportunity that you have. The fact that you're able to smell, don't take it for granted. The fact that you're able to see, even with your glasses, don't take it for granted. If you're able to feel your hands, you're able to go to the bathroom, they are not putting cataract through you, don't take it for granted. Because of some people, the same, the same bathroom that you will go easily and come out, there's some they can't even, even, even try it because the urine will not come out. Brethren, every opportunity you have, this new year we're about to enter, I want to encourage you, please, please don't whine, don't complain, do more of giving thanks to God. Say, Father, I thank you. I might not be where I want to be, but Father, I know I'm not where I used to be. The woman, all she could, all she, all she wanted was just that music. She wasn't even bothered about her seeing anything, but she wanted to, she's thanking God that God, at least I can't see, but I can hear. Are you with me? Take every opportunity. Don't take it for granted. Every time, every little second that you have, appreciate God for that little that you have. Don't envy others. Always give thanks to Almighty God. The book of Psalm. Let's open our Bible to the book of Psalm. Psalm 92. It's a psalm that David wrote to show more of his faithfulness and the love that he enjoyed. We all know Uncle David was a bad guy. He committed so many, so many, so many, so many sins, so many atrocities that people, if normally people, if you do it this day, you find yourself in life imprisonment. You might not be able to come out of it. But one thing that I learned from him, every single time that he make a mistake or he committed anything or he, you know, would do anything that is not of God, he'll go back on in his knees and say, Father, I am sorry. And that was the best thing. That was one of the 
the quality that he carries that make God looked at him and say, Wow, you're a man that knows how to touch my heart. And that was why God called him a man from his own heart. He was a killer, a murderer. He tell me, adulterer, everything. Everything, everything, every sin under heaven he committed. But then God loved him. Why? Because he knows how to touch the heart of God. This new year that we are going to, I want to encourage you. For you to be able to unlock that good thing you want from God. Know how to touch the heart of God. Saying sorry don't make it too. Don't, don't take it lightly. If you know you messed up, just go on your knees and say, Father, I'm sorry. To anyone, don't be too big. Don't let the ego get to you because tomorrow is not guaranteed. We don't know what's going to happen. The only person that's, that knows what's going to happen tomorrow, it's him. So because we have no clue of what's going to happen, but one assurance that I know my tomorrow is going to be okay. How he's going to happen, I don't know. If I'm going to make it, I just know that he's going to be okay. So the little moment, the every second, every minute I have that I'm going to spend with my loved one, with my God, I have to make sure I am at the right place. And I'm doing the right thing because nothing is guaranteed. The Bible says, it says, it is good to give thanks to God. Does it tell me why? It says, it is good to give thanks to God. And to sing praises to his name, most high. To declare your loving kindness in the morning. So when you are, and that's one thing we need to teach ourselves and our children and people around us. When you wake up in the morning, please don't be too much in our hurry. Just go on your knees and say, Father, I thank you this morning. Because my mom tells me one story. She said, don't you know when you sleep, it's like you don't even know it's, it's very close to death. Most of us, when we are tired, you just realize there's one day I was talking on the phone. I don't know if it's DJ or my husband. And I fell asleep. <laughs> I bet they were just talking, talking. I was dead. I was already gone. Somewhere in Nigeria, sleeping, snoring. But there was, he was just, my husband, he was just talking. Apparently, maybe he, by the time he realized this woman is not on the phone. Hello, 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 my dear. Hello, hello. <laughs> Praise God. The closest thing to death is sleep. If you give my child a little, maybe $10,000 worth of whatever, cash, and she started hiding this cash from you, been hiding it, just let him hold on to it tightly. When you fall asleep, easily. And tomorrow you ask him, what happened to, where, where's the money? He started looking for it. He would, trust me, he, will, he has no idea. He will not, he has no, no clue whatsoever. The last time he remembered was when he had it in his hand. What now happened? He would start wondering, what happened to the money? I had it, I, I had it with me. I had it with me. But the last thing that you did before you fall asleep, that was it. That's the only thing you remember. So before you go to bed, that is why the Bible says, don't, 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 when you are going to bed, don't go to bed bitter. Don't go to bed, you know, somebody who offended you, find time to just forgive that person before you go to bed. Like my mom, she, she slept, she didn't wake up. By the time she was already up, she was in her grave. Because you don't know when anything can happen. 
I'm sorry I'm preparing you. There's the reason why I'm saying this. So that way, every you know the new year you are entering, go in there with a very clean, clear slate. No iniquities. Try as much as possible. I said it last Sunday, you are not them. Your breed is different. There has to be something different about you. You are not part of the crowd. So you are not among them. You are not the crowd. You are not part of the crowd. So you need to start thinking differently. Why? Because God is inside of you. The Bible says you are the temple. So your body is a temple. So, and he said he created you in his own image. So you resemble God. You look like him. You rec- he recognizes you. It's not for, it's, you are not part of them. So you, the way you think, the way you carry yourself, the way you act, people will just look at you. They say, can somebody really pisses you off? You look at them. If only you know what I've been through. What, what else? What can you do? What, what, what can you really do? do? Why, if I get upset, I'm still going to say sorry. Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy, but I think, I guess that's the right thing to do. So people start calling you different names. Why, 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 why? It's okay. You don't hold anybody's explanation. So when you go to this new year, we are going in a, a very clean, clear slate. It's another chance that God has given unto you and I. Some people don't get to have it. Mommy was sharing with me the other day when we were coming. I mean, this, this evening, she said, couples of people has died from where she was living. Even somebody died for two, two, for a whole two weeks. They didn't even know she was already dead in that room. And I kept, until we got to church, I was wondering, how could, didn't she have a family member? Didn't she, didn't she know anybody? It was so many questions. But it could have been anybody. Let's take time, count your blessings. Name them one by one and give thanks to God at every second, at every point, every opportunity you have. Say, Father, I thank you. The Bible says, say to declare your loving kindness in the morning. Wake up in the morning, appreciate him. And your faithfulness in the evening. So that means at least twice a day, give thanks to him. You wake up in the morning and say, Father, I thank you for waking me up again. I am breathing. I am not on an oxygen machine. Thank you, Father. When you want to go to sleep, go back on your knees and say, Father, I'm, a, I'm going to go to sleep tonight. Thank you for what you've done to me. I thank you for what you did today. Thank you for those answered prayers. Thank you for those, like Pastor said on Sunday. Thank you for things that he didn't even do. You wanted it so badly, but he didn't give it to you. Some of us will be writing the same exam, same exam for so many times. We still didn't pass. But I still thank him for those exams that I failed. I said, Lord, I thank you. If it was, was your will. I was um, one of my friends. We went to nursing school together. She, uh, she graduated. And she tried to take the exam. She failed it. Failed. Finally, she passed the exam, the board exam. She was only able to use that exam Use the license for three months. Her first job, the patient, as she was giving the medication to the patient, she, this woman, she has a mental problem. She put the medication in her mouth, and the woman reacted like this. And guess what? My friend, instead for her to, to stood back, she moved like this, and guess what? Slapped the face of the patient. And one, another CNA was watching her. They wrote her up. They sent her to jail. She lost her license. So those disappointments, if, she, if, if at that point, when God, had, when God has been stopping her, try, she's tried, 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 tried. She didn't pass the exam. But she didn't thank God. She was bittered. So when God reminded me that, Maybe God was preventing something 
from happening. How could you go to school eight years of your life? Suffered. Now the time for you to start enjoying it. Here you are. I must well remain, you know, I don't want to speak it out, but, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The time she was supposed to be enjoying it, she ended up in jail. Praise the Lord. The devil will not cage you in the name of Jesus Christ. So every disappointment that comes your way this coming year, please give thanks to God. Thank him because there might be a reason for that failure. Verse 4 says, For you, O Lord, have made me glad through your words. It says, I will triumph in the works of your ends. O Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. It says, verse 6, it says, A senseless man does not know nor does he, a fool, understand this. Are you with me? A senseless man, that's verse 6. My, my version says, a senseless man, this is New King James Version, the, whole, the, the KJV says, a British man, no it's not. Neither does a fool understand this. How great our God is. It's deep. Hallelujah. And you will not be considered a fool in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 7, he said, when the wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourishes, it is that they may be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are on high forevermore. For behold, your enemies, O Lord, for behold, your enemies shall perish, all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Bow down your head and talk to God tonight. If you are that person that complains a lot, that doesn't appreciate things that comes your way, it is time for you to ask God to forgive you. The Father, I've taken your, I, 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 sorry for taking your grace, your mercy for granted. Ask God to forgive you. The Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have come tonight to say I am sorry. I want to start a new slate. I want to start afresh. And Father, I thank you because you are giving me this chance. Some people don't even get to go this far. Some people didn't get to go this, they didn't get to have this kind of relationship I'm having with you right now. Last year, where I was high, somewhere. But God, I thank you because I did not die last year. I did not die 2020. 2021 did not swallow me. I'm here tonight, Lord, I thank you. And Father, I am, I'm so grateful because my family, we are all together. We might not be where we want to be, Lord. But I thank you that we are still breathing. The closest person, I didn't lose my children. I didn't lose my cousin. I didn't lose my mom. I didn't lose my dad. I didn't lose my father. I didn't lose my, none of my family members. If they were, well, we got a little bit a day here and there. But God, you saved, you saved us. Couples of accidents, car accidents. It could have been worse. But Father, my, 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 our life did not go with it. And I thank you because you are giving us this opportunity again to, 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 to rewrite it, to reset. Father, we've come to reset tonight. And we say thank you, Father. 
We thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless your name, Father. We exalt your name, Father. With our hearts being opened unto you, we say thank you. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every area of our lives, everything that we've done that is not of your will, everything that we've done that is, that is does not align with your purpose, Father, we come, we say, Father, we are sorry. The Bible says if we will confess our sins with our mouth, you say you are just, you're just just to cleanse and make it white as snow. And so, Father, we've come tonight to cleanse us, oh Lord. We dip ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Father, cleanse us, oh Lord, from every unrighteousness, from every iniquity, Father. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, because we believe in you. Father, energize us, oh Lord. As we're about to cross over to this new year, Father, cross with us. Hold us tight, Father. The year ahead, we don't know. But one thing that is so sure that we know, we believe in you. And the Bible says you make things work well for those that trust you. And Father, make things work well for us this new year. That is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Think of our last thing, Father. We bless and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put your hands together. Do you still love me? Do you still love me? I just want to, you to be ready for the year. It's coming. Back in Nigeria now, they already said, my phone has been ringing nonstop. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. You keep it Happy New Year. It's not Happy New Year here. Praise God. <laughs> so people have been calling, you know, my sister, my, my friends from New York, everybody's been texting, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. And I said, it's not Happy New Year in California yet. So don't, 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 don't tell me yet. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight... For the, you know, maybe before the children come for their praise, um, praise dance, we will um, give opportunity to, to us to um, come and give a testimony. If God has done anything you want to share, you want to encourage us, maybe God, you know, showed you something, you had a dream, this is an opportunity for you to, you know, let's talk about it. You know, let's talk about what God has, you know, it's been, it's been, it has been a very faithful father. As a matter of fact, 2021 was one of my best year. It was a year of mixed feelings, but at the same time, I, I, I mean, on, at the end of it all, I, I, I looked back, I said, actually, 2021 was a very good year. It was a very good year. It was a very good year. Could have been better, but actually, I, 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 I said, God, it, it was a, one of my best years so far. So far. Especially in this ministry. We didn't lose anyone. You know, it could be God. Can, it can only be God. You know, nobody fell sick. Nobody was in the hospital on admission. I mean, how much, how much more can you ask for? Some people are worrying about corona. Me, I hug everybody. They say six feet social distancing. I, that was not, never in my, my dictionary. I, I, didn't, I didn't do no social distancing. I could imagine how many people have probably already transferred corona to <laughs> But God did not allow it to happen. Hallelujah. So it's, 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 uh, it, it's, it deserves it deserve all the praises. It deserves all the worship. It deserves everything. You know? And I just want to give glory to God tonight. For me, I didn't lose anyone, 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 anyone. You know, we have friends, we have cousins that I know they fell asleep. They know who, know who, know who, know who's, you know. But nobody that was so close to me and dear to me. And Father, I thank you for that. 
And I just want to give glory to Almighty. He said he will protect everyone that's part of this ministry. And God did it. And here we are the last day in the year 2021. And Father, we give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you want to share a testimony, if God, you know, if you enjoy deliverance, if, you know, promotion, hope in heaven, whatever, you know, you want to just come and encourage us. And I know God will continue to answer all our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, mommy. Put your hands together and let's encourage auntie. Amen. Isn't it looking beautiful? <laughs> Well, I would say that it's been an um, interesting year all through the year. Um, there have been a couple of times where I've been on the freeway. I could have had, a, you know, a, a collision, an accident from other people, and, and God has been protecting me. And I, I appreciate that. Today, there were two cars in front of me on the street, and they almost collided together right in front of me but God prevented and so I just want to give him all the glory and all the praise in Jesus name oh thank you I want to thank God for for his mercy and his um, protection, enduring protection, that um, we've come to the end of uh, 2021. We're all alive, uh, myself and my family members, including my children. Um, he's been wonderful. So I want to give him all the glory um, and all the praise and to thank God for his faithfulness and for meeting our needs um, during the year um, that we are all alive. Given all the events of uh, COVID-19 and given the numbers um, associated with COVID-19, um, it's by his grace that we're not consumed. So I want to give him all the glory. May his holy name be glorified forever in Jesus' name, amen. Faithful. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm grateful to have been a part of this church this year and to grow with everyone and to learn about everyone, to be in the family and uh, to learn about everybody. It's been a good experience out of pure love and intrinsic motivation. So I'm grateful for that. And to Angela, I know you have something to say. Thou shall come to the front. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and encourage her. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot has happened this year for sure. Oh, okay. Um, my twin sister, um, she, she had breast cancer and um, she's completely healed. She went through the whole process. And we prayed for her here, and I, like, stood in the gap, and everyone put oil on me, like, and for her. Mm -hmm. So that was, that's pretty amazing. But then I, I do have to confess something. Um, I was really being convicted about, like, complaining about situations and maybe letting opportunities that God had given me um, get away from me. That, and I don't want to do that this year. I just... And I praise God and I thank him for a clean slate and then new opportunities to grow and become more like him. Amen. Hallelujah. 
can I speak on that, that testimony? There's two people. There was one crossover service that she came really, um, she said, my twin sister is diagnosed with cancer. She was, she was bothered that night. Like, actually, for like the whole week before that service, she won't stop texting me. She would just she say, can, you, can we just, I just believe if we pray together, God will do it. If we pray together, she, had, she was so sure. You know, when you are so sure that if, if you just, I just need you to, I, we, I just need people to, I just need you to, to agree with me so we can pray together. And uh, yeah, it was at 2 a.m. <laughs> it was 2 a.m. that night. So and God said, I could hear God. And we, we prayed and I slept. By the time I came back, woke up the following morning, I could hear God saying, it is done. So we came back to church that night. It was crossover service to the next um, month. And there was a prophetic message that came that it is done. So we prayed and pastor called her and we prayed together that night. And the Lord said, anoint her because they were twins. So the same umbilical cord that connected her with that will work for her. So we prayed, we agreed that night, and that was what happened. Hallelujah. So she, we, 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 we agreed together. I mean, that's one of the things I want you to believe. Once you, once, once, if only you can believe. Don't doubt what she was already believed in her mind, saying when, when we all agreed together, we prayed together, it's going to be done. By the time she called, she said, you know what? God answered that prayer. And there was another lady too, you gave a testimony, I think three months after that, that was in the house, that was sick, that was still right, that was during the service. You remember? Yeah. Yes. It was a lady that, and she said, she said, she said the lady called her at about 1 a.m. She said, if you can pray with her. She said, don't worry. My pastor, we will pray with <laughs> we pray for you when we get to church. And she came back. And we all stood back to stood together. And we prayed together. We agreed together. The Bible says, the prayer of righteous, it says, he availeth much. So when you are here, don't, don't sell, don't buy. Just stay focused and believe that God will answer your prayer. God is answering our prayers. You know, you might not see it, but we know it. Praise the Lord. It might not, maybe, maybe you've been thinking in your mind, well, God, I've been, you know, Pastor Kemi, I've been praying, I've been praying. Why, how come God has not answered my prayer? That's what you think. God is answering your prayer. If you think God has not answered your prayer, look back. Take a step back. And think through it. Look, look inward and ask yourself, why is it God is not answering my prayer? Because our God, it does not stop prayers. He answers prayer. And he will continue to answer all our requests, all our prayers, all our petitions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any other testimonies? Put your hands together for my baby. My miracle faith. <laughs> Good evening, church. Good evening. I just wanted to thank God for everything that he's done in me this year. It's been a really long year and a hard year considering school and everything, but I wanted to thank God for helping me get straight A's this semester Amen. and <laughs> giving me the... Um, ability to play piano and teaching me and blessing me with these gifts that I hope that will grow as I get older. Amen. Put your hands together. Thank God. She struggled the beginning of the year. She was saying, Mom, can we go back to school? I don't like the online stuff. <laughs> She not, and me, one day she challenged me. She said, Mom, you don't even like online stuff. Why are you complaining about my grade? But I thank God she struggled through it. She struggled through it. She said, you know what? I'm going to make a difference, and I will surprise you. And I thank God that she did not. She kept to her promise. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to be with you, will continue to guide you. It will continue. The function upon your life will never run dry in the name of Jesus Christ. No peer pressure 
will be able to touch you. The anointing of God upon your life will not run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will continue to move forward. Never go backward in the name of Jesus Christ. This result that you have, and I pray that will be the least of your result in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, the, 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 the steps of, of the righteous, he says he will order. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to order your steps in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Any other testimony? If there's none, then I will call um, the covenant dancer to come forward and give us a, a brief praise dance. Let's encourage them, please. Do you miss me? 